Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing another traditional draft Ikoria layer of the behemoths. Layer of behemoths, not the behemoths. Uh, it's, a, it's a small but relevant distinction. Uh, we're doing another stipulation courtesy of Thanos. Uh, the last one was I have to draft in Wooburg order if there wasn't a card in the Wooburg uh, color, I guess. I guess that's what you want to call it. Then I could draft whatever I wanted to. In this situation, um, we're doing the same thing, only I get to start on whatever color I like and then start the, the, the circle from there. So if I pick a, first pick a blue card, the next card will be black, etc. So let's try that out, see how it works. And uh, let's see how many me's are at the table. Looking like one. I got one up here. I bet I'll be in. I'll bet I'll be right here. Keep an eye on it. Dang it. I'm. Oh, I'm, I'm down here instead. Okay. All right. So first pick. What are we taking? Four six. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. That's not bad. It's all right. Nothing else really stands out. This guy's two colors. Three five vigilance for four creatures you control with vigilance have tap target creature. Could just be Farfinder, right? What does Farfinder have? What happens with if we pick Farfinder? Oh, it's all color? I think it's actually... <coughs> For this deck, I actually think it Farfinder is probably... Oh, Boneyard Lurker. Okay, we're going to take Boneyard Lurker. I, I love a Boneyard Lurker. I think it's really, really good. Oh, Migratory Greathorn, too, though. I'm going to take Boneyard Lurker. I think it's going to be easier to get the other guys. Okay, we're either black or green for the next pick. Thomas, welcome back, buddy. I'm glad you made it. Ooh. I just get excited by Godzilla cards, man. It's really doesn't make... It's not logical. Um... Okay, so we're either red or white. Red is not great, but we have a King Caesar or Vulpakeet. King Caesar being Huntmaster Liger. I kind of like Vulpakeet just for the flying. I think it's actually better than this guy. Oh, you choose that color before progressing. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I mean, based on my preferences, I would 100% not pick red. I would definitely pick white because I don't like red in this in this in this format very much. So, so we're not gonna be white, and then we're gonna, we're gonna have a blue card coming up. Channeled force, eh, it's two colors. Phase dolphin's probably fine, especially because you can uh, mutate onto it. So now we got a black blitz leech, whisper squad. I'll take scoured barons actually. So now we're red. Do, 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 do. Does this count for red? This guy count for red, right? Same way like a fixing land would count for red, right? Because otherwise they have no color. So the only time to get these is when they were on the color. All right, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Ketria crystal. So now we're on green. Sudden spinnerets. You suck. Okay, so now we're on white again. We can take Vulpakeet number two. Or Garrison Cat number one. I like Garrison Cat. Gigantha Niv-Mizzet deck? Buddy, you're talking my language right now. 
You're saying some sweet words to me, buddy. So far, not going great, but I'm only on revision one. Well, don't forget. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm going to take the crystal again. Because it's either that or unexpected fangs. I don't think unexpected fangs is exciting, so... Uh, that was black, so now we're on red. No red, so I get a freebie. I actually think Corpse Churn could be very good here because Bone Lurker, like you just put creatures in the graveyard. So now we're on green again. This was black. This was red. Now we're on green. No green. So. I'll just take on expect. Oh, it's a trick. So now we're on white after this. Gotta take healer. Now we're on blue. No. Okay. Ooh. So how do we start here? Because I would love to take a Karuga right here. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, I get this. Oh, it's my choice again? That's pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to take Karuga, and I'm going to make Karuga green. I'm going to take Karuga as a green card. Thank you. So that means I can take a white card. I can take Fronland Felidar. That's pretty good. Because I can kind of cut all these cards. I don't care about them. Hmm. It's got to be a white card. Yeah, this is the only white card I care about, right? Puck the Shadow, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, my dude. Now we're on blue. How deep are we going, guys? We could also just take a reconnaissance mission, which is pretty cool. either this or this oh my god oh my god this is a permanent though it does count for crew but let's go with reconnaissance mission here and now we got to take a black card catch your trying would be cool night squad commando could be actually fine it's not exciting I mean, it's either that or the crystal, right? And I don't care about the crystal. So now we're on red. No red. Fantastic. Probably just Farfinder. I'm really hoping the ultimatum comes back, but I don't think I don't think it's ever coming back.
So now we're on, we should be on green. I think we just take Ivy Elemental. Or Blossoming Sands, actually. I kind of like Blossoming Sands here. Yeah, let's go with Blossoming Sands. So I believe we're on white now. <laughs> I got white in here. Take it easy, Cubs. So now we're on blue, right? No, we took this for green, so now we're on white. Mm, I really like that land. Mm, Light of Hope is meh, and Snare Tactician is meh. <sighs> Biscuits. I'll just take you for the sideboard, I guess. Actually, we have cycling. Yeah, that's fine. Blue? No blue. So we're free to take whatever we like. Are we playing the career as a as a man? Thankfully we have a second pack, a third pack. Um, so we're on blue. This is the freebie. The next card's going to be black. Okay, so corpse turn again. Not great if we're playing Karuga, but might be fine. Now we have a red, no red, so we get a freebie. So I'll take Tranquil Cove. Now green. Gotta be thwart the enemy, unfortunately. White, take solid footing. Uh, now we got a freebie again. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Don't think this one matters. And finally, all right. So Shimmer can go. Mecha Godzilla. It's a nice artifact creature. Archipelago is also interesting. So is Grim Dancer, but I don't think we're that heavy black, so. It might just be Mecha Godzilla. Card's pretty decent, right? I'll just take Mecha Godzilla. Blood Curdle? Eh, it's alright. It's alright, it's alright. I think I'd rather have just more creatures. How many creatures we got here? 13, but a lot of them might not see any play. I'm actually trying to cut the non three drops. I'm going to take this guy. Uh, it's not passes or we're playing Karuga. I kind of like Karuga as my boss. So I think it's just insatiable hemophage and then we'll be, we'll start with black. Uh, I didn't know we had to pick for artifact because there's no color attached to it, so it's really hard to just name a random color. Um, so now I'll do red, and that's sad because that's that's kind of a blank. This pack's not great though, so I don't feel terrible. Um, so now we get a green. Oh boy, uh, auspicious strict Starix seems fantastic. All right, so now we're on white. It has to be Snare Tactician? I guess that's fine. It's playable. So now we're on blue. Avian Oddity seems good. Again, it cycles, so that's pretty cool. Now we're on black. Ooh, no black cards. Freebie. F -f -f Freebie. I like a Thieving Otter here. Fertilid could be good, too. I'm going with Thieving Otter. Drawing cards could be nice. Now we're on black, so we have to take Memory Leak. No, this pack's not great, so... Um... 
Wait, was that not black? Wait, I don't know if that was black. It gets confusing when I get when I get a free pick. Ah, I don't think that was black, right? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I should be green now, sure. Um, yeah, let's take greater samurai. Okay, that's yeah. I just got confused there. So now we're white. And no white. Do we have a Zagoth crystal? No. So I'll just take this. Uh, maybe Pterodon? How many big drops do we have? So now we're on blue. We gotta take Essence Scatter. Now we're on black. That's a freebie. Red, freebie. Green. And last pick. Okay, so let's see if we can cut these guys. Ooh, we can. And then we can put Karuga in our companion slot. And now we get to be that Karuga player. Two crystals, a fully grown is a decent trick. Mecha Godzilla, Night Squad, Thieving Otter. Uh, let's take it. Actually, nah, I don't think that's great. That's probably the worst one, right? These these two can cycle, which is nice, gives us something to do. Also true with snare tactician. Boot the tent? I don't even know what that means. Oh, that's exact. Okay. The exact thing that I did. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I think that's fine. And now this is our ridiculous deck. So one, two, three, four white sources. And we also have two crystals, which is nice. Both of which are providing lots of different colors. Three, four black sources, or blue sources. Three, four black sources. Three, three red sources, which seems fine. Four, five green sources. This seems good. You never heard that phrase before? Me neither. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think we're just playing it like this. Yeah, all right. All right. Wooberg, take two. Tuberg. More like it. Snap keep. Farfinders gets us white or black depending on what we want. Wow, that guy's real good. This guy got death touch? Of course he does. Jesus. My weekends right now are typically no different than my weeks, so. Let's take action. We have double Snare Tactician and a Frondland Felidar. However, Black does let us play Boneyard Lurker. A black or a white. I think we just want to play Frondland Felidar here. Because it just blocks this guy. But either way, to answer the question, not bad.
This seems rough. I did watch the Parks and Rec special. I thought it was wonderfully wholesome. Really, you're gonna kill that guy. Fascinating. I mean, I guess I'll take another five. Cool, cool, cool. It's a solid draw. Trade here? No. I think we just double block here. I mean, assuming they'll let us. They could just have another ram through, so. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. That's a thing. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could play this and then Boneyard Lurker onto it, actually. Do we want two creatures or do we want to get something back from our graveyard? That's the question. I guess we're getting something back anyway. Or we could play Snare Tactician number two. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think I'd rather diversify here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure. No attacks. Just having to deal with this guy in the future is really... Uh, I don't know if this is correct. I mean, if we kill this, they draw another card, they gain another three, and this guy just keeps taking over the game. Like, it's really hard to deal with. 
So we're at two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we draw the green, we can play this guy. This guy doesn't have... Oh, it does have trample. Oh, that's something. I guess we can play Giraffid and... <sighs> yep, that's probably all I want to see. Getting back the one three Death Toucher seems a little too good for me to deal with. Oh, this is traditional. Your starting deck. Oh, we can board into things that are cheaper now. I don't think there's much I want to board into, though. What was your record match? Well, that was match. This is match one. Um, yeah, we'll keep. Gigantha Niv deck. Nice. Nice. Oh, step one? I think it was like 3-3. Three, three. I think it was 3-3. Three, three. Hunter, stop. You got it. Uh, uh, it's their turn, right? Yeah. No? Yes? My turn. Okay. This one the and, uh, Play this. Play Crystallio. Are we on the draft part or the standard part? This is the draft part. definitely suffering from lack of removal with this deck so far. Um, let's get rid of Vulpa Keep. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Wing Pterodon. Not block you. Or we can draw a couple cards. Have hexproof, even though it's super weird that this guy is not flying once he has hexproof. But we do have a blocker here, so forever. And next time we get to draw three with Karuga. Karu oh, okay, so I guess you have a trick, but I'm not gonna not block because that's the whole point of this three six with hexproof. Thank so. you, Sammy. What's going on? 57 months, man. Good lord. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. They trade. That's basically your turn. Okay. Yep. Your favorite and mine. No attacks, because then we go to five. And that seems bad. So. I imagine they're just going to blood curdle this guy anyway, so. Yep, because of course they are. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like such a fucking... It's just like cool mythic. I, I, what are you going to do? Way to draw a card and kill my guy with a... With a, with a fight card that only does one side. Like, why make fight and another mechanic that's like fight, but not really fight? Yeah, it's kind of like fight, but it doesn't really fight. It's like fake fight.
Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Sure. I mean, now they get to draw a card. Like, it's real good, man. This card's really fucking good. Yep. Seems good. But it was not good. It was bad. So now we double block this guy and take four. Yeah, we're just dead again. Like, this is, this is rough. I mean, also, like, if they're just going to get their Chevelle Bane of the Bane of Monsters every game, then it's like, well, what can you do? Like, it's just weird that they make green, like, a green mechanic fight, but then in every set there's also, an, a, like, a kind of half fight. Or only your guy deals damage, and it's just kind of weird, like... Why would you make both of these? That's cool. No lands. Yeah. All right. I mean, Farfinder Reconnaissance Mission Cycle is fine. Put six drop back. Yeah, we're definitely cycling this guy to hit a land. Oh look, just mono, just mono companions, fucking limited formats. Oh man, it's hilarious. Come on, three drop. I that? Another island, huh? Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I'll play this little guy and you can essence scatter him if you like. Oh, I'm gonna cycle by opposing Vatasaur. play a thing so this guy just gets in there for free he played his land before yep because that's why because it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter just play that all right well So we're gonna play this guy. And let's take what do you get? So we get everything but a white. We'll just get a white source. And do we play a land? Yes we did, so we'll play phase dolphin. And next turn Karuga will be like, yo, what up? You wanna draw three? And I'll be like, okay, Karuga. Okay, so this guy is just coming in for four. Yeah, that's fine. I'll block it when he's got double strike. Maybe. Or I'll never be able to deal with it. Okay. Look at this fat idiot. I think we just play this guy and block here? Or we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why does the card have vigilance? The other creature. Oh, because it gets plus one, plus one, and vigilance. Oh, that's why. Along with this two, four flyer. Well, see you later. No attacks.
It's okay, guys. It's just an eight eight. It's just an eight damage flyer. It's okay. We're only dead next turn. I I, I got a, I got a lot of ways to deal with the four five double striker. That's a totally cool. That's just a totally reasonable mechanic. Stipulation's not going well so far. I think the first one went better. Oh, Karuga. Yep. That will be the end. All right. That'll do it. I mean, we're definitely bringing in Plummet now. Oh, we don't have Plummet. Just kidding. That was just a little joke. Ha, just playing a little goof on you. Bring an essence scatter. Eh. Eh. It's not great, but I guess it's probably nothing fully grown here. No, you can still have Karuga. It's only your starting deck. You can board into whatever whatever you want. You can board whatever you like. I have no idea what to write about this week. I'm sure that's going to take up a good portion of my stress tonight. I hope it's not about companion again. Wait, didn't I take the fully grown out? What? Did I not take fully grown out for like... I'm pretty sure I did. I took both of these cards out. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> I take out two cards, I draw both of them in the first two turns. That's that's wild, dude. Your starting deck is per game, not match? What? What is it? Wait, what does that mean? Is it my turn? Who's it's their turn? That doesn't seem accurate. I don't know if that is that true? That doesn't seem true. Cause why did it let me submit? Like that doesn't make any sense.
Oh, it asked if you could change companion there. That's weird. Whatever. Alright. I mean, I guess. Choose attackers. None. So next turn, if we draw land... Eh, we don't have to draw land. I guess we're just going to play Karuga. Two, three, four. So we just draw four here? That seems good. I will assume we'll hit a land. We totally hit a land. Um no attacks. Oh, I think my keyboard died. <laughs> I was like, I'm typing things, but nothing's coming up. Hold on one second. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, draw four. I did that too, but mine came on a 5-4, and it cost one less. That's pretty good. Ship me a box? What does that mean? What's... What do you do with 100 boxes of 100? I don't even know what's going on right now. Um, well, that guy's good. They're tapped out. One, two, three, four, five. We'll play a land. Oh, all right. Yeah, sure. What color are we missing? None. What do we want? Another green? We got a double green. Nah, we got a lot. We got pretty much everything we need here, right? I don't think we really need anything. I'll just get a swamp, I guess. And we have two mana left over, so we can't really do anything here. I guess we could attack with Karuga as well. That'd be double block here. I feel like it's significantly better if we can hold on to fully. Gun. Cool. Seem good, huh? Yeah, Thomas working from home could probably actually use uh, a box of half and half cups. Seems good. Guess we're taking 10. I'm probably just chump blocking this with a far finder if we get the opportunity. I don't know why they'd make this unblockable though. Sure. Mm 
That was a pretty decent trade. We have no permanents in the graveyard, otherwise this bone boneyard lurker would be decent. I guess we could cycle this and get just get it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could also just go like mutate onto this, mutate onto this. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, we're just gonna pass. Well, that's unfortunate, but I guess it's actually... One, two, three, four, five, six mana. That's a three and that's a three. We can mutate both onto here. We have two mana left over. Not enough to do much, so... Alright. That feels good. Sure. Really? So we can Boneyard Lurker now. Target creature you control fights a creature you don't control. Sure. <laughs> How many mutations does this fucking thing have? Oh, I'd love to find out, but... So if we add this, and then we say done... What? See, it didn't ask me anything. I just hit done. Right? Like, I... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. It's definitely not obvious if it's like... Yeah, there's no dialogue that says, like, would you like to submit a different deck? No, I just, like, I, I, I added the cards... And then I put them in, and then I said done, and then it just, it submitted the deck. And then it's like, nah, just kidding, you don't get to have those. Good gravy, man. Bugs in my MTGA? It's more common than you think.
See, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know why it's taking so long. You have to remove from being your companion. It makes for no other cards. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I know how the companion works. My point is that like it shouldn't let you submit, right? Like if I go to submit it after adding a two drop and a, like a couple two drop cards, it should be like invalid deck. It should tell me that I have an invalid deck rather than letting me submit my deck and being like, ah, fuck your changes. Got him. I like this guy in the Volpa Keep. That seems pretty decent. Uh, I don't think we have anything to do. Why don't you just cycle reconnaissance mission? Mm. Pass to attackers. Is it my turn? I actually think this is cyclable, but we have also two Snary Boys. So I think we're actually just gonna. Mecha Godzilla! Oh, Hexproof. Lifelink. I, I like a lifelink. You know what? I like lifelink. Hexproof. Trample. Talk about reconnaissance mission. Now we're just playing it, dude. Oh man, give me that value. What you know about that value? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, putting this actually, we do. I kind of want to put it on here, don't we? We do kind of want to do that, don't we? Uh, under. Get under my Mecha Godzilla. Lifelink trample. Wait, did it just get flying? I don't know. Yeah, it got flying even though it already had flying. <laughs> Super cool. Cool magic. The, the arena. The arena ing. You got double flight. Two flights for the price of one. Unless, of course, they did cost. They did cost double. In which case, then it's just bad. That's just bad value. <sighs> Couldn't get a hexproof, huh? Too much work for you? Yeah. What is it? One, two, three, four, five. We got six mana, so you can play Otter and Farfinder. That's not exciting. I don't know what all what the alternative is, I guess. Sure, I'm not saying it shouldn't have gotten flying. I'm saying of all the fucking of all the six other abilities, seven other abilities it could have gotten. Like, it's funny that it gets one of the ones it has, right? Like. It has one ability naturally, and that's literally the same when it gets the exact turn that I give it to it. That's funny to me. It could have gotten a horsemanship counter. See, that would have been good. See, this is nice, because this guy's just tapping things down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is four, and we can actually play... Nah, we're just playing this guy and... Tapping him down! Okay, no attacks. In the turn, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. Resolve.
Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Karuga and also keep two tappers up. That seems good, right? We can also get in there with this guy and tap this post combat. Go to attackers next. Ah, but then if they block and they have like ram through. No attacks. Let's just draw like 15 cards here. And the turn we'll get rid of. Actually, I have quite a few uh, cyclers. Oh, that's... Oh God, I hate that it does that. I hate that if you just lift a card... Like, I just lifted it up because I was, like, thinking about it. But then it's like, oh, that's the one you want to pick. That's real fat. Six damage, huh? I don't care about either of these guys, so that's fine. Like they've just they've they've done their jobs. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine mana, huh? This is six. This is four. We definitely have to to block a thing. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, and we want to keep three up, so I think we just play like one, four, or two, four. Probably one, four. No, two, four. <laughs> right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're just playing three drop because we want to keep two mana up. Yeah, okay. Uh, next. No attacks. And turn. Whenever this creature mutates, return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. So just Gust of Wind? Or the fight card? Yeah, can't do anything about that. Oh, uh, it didn't take actually that long at all to wash the Sharpie off. Surprisingly, uh, it was not super... Strong, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Oh, they're getting the fight card back, sure. I mean, I know you guys have five power, so... This card's just... just... Oh, we only need to keep one man up, because this guy's got friggin'... Summoning sickness. I'm not smart. So we could have just played Avon Oddity. Okay, that pumps a human, so... Sure. They have one card now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is six. We can play a three on here. Hmm. 
Hmm. See, that's not bad with one, two, with multiple cyclers in hand. Hunter, stop! They're just the same creature, right? Um, yeah, seems fine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy costs six, this costs three, and we can still tap a dude down. That's pretty good. So, lots of, lots of manas. The number of times this creature has mutated. Uh, four mana left, huh? So. Yeah, alright. No attacks again. I feel like we're in alright territory here. And this guy's gotta be tapped forever. seems bad at this juncture. <gasps> Whoa, that's real good. <sighs> What's the permanent we're getting back? Is it Vulpakeet? Is it Auspicious Starix? One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have tons of mana here. All right. Let's get Avian Oddity. Uh, Reach. Oh, we should have said Vigilance. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at this game. Yeah, I'll take a land, I'll take an island. So... Let's 
cycling, put a counter on this guy, tap a dude down. We can wait a turn. <sighs> yeah, but Vigilance taps them, so it's just like... I don't know, that seems versatile, like... Yeah. Oh, this guy has vigilance too. Oh man, that was a good that was a good hit. Good lord. How many cards do we have? Seven cards. Okay, so this is gonna mutate a third time. We have one flyer right now. We're gonna draw a card. I don't want to kill ourselves with the, uh, the Starix is the problem. How many things can we tap? We can tap down two things, three things. I think we might, can we just win here? Give you flying. Yeah, we're just going to tap down their whole team next turn. Uh, and the turn. And we'll cycle Avian Oddity too. We have one, two, three, four, five. So two taps in a cycle. Alright, so. Uh, tap you down. Tap you down. Uh, let's put full control on next. Next two attackers, all attack, nine attackers, tap you, submit. I mean, if they have thwart, <laughs> then we're dead, but okay. I don't think they do. Didn't even need that side deck. What's a side deck? We got one more game? Alright. Let's see if we can 2 1. That'd be sweet, right? Is Mike be on a hot teleconference date? I have no idea what he's doing. I'm gonna keep this hand though. This hand seems great. Farfinder into Avian into Koruga. A date, dinner with friends, dinner alone, watching TV alone. God, it got real dark. It just kept decreasing. Next. Uh, I actually like cycling here because if we just go Farfinder into Boneyard Lurker, we just get a free card back. Which is pretty good. Hey, I was doing stuff. What were you doing? Nothing. Liar. Ooh, I'll just play Swampums into Far Findums. Let's get an island here. And then we have all the colors of the wind. We're like Pocahontas up in this piece. And then we can Boneyard Lurker to get back to the Sandworm. Like nothing ever happened. 
Now you got a 4 4 Vigilance. Don't get the old Simpsons lie detector, Owens. <laughs> I didn't actually. I actually didn't get that reference. Uh, Kerwin, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it today, man. I gotta be in a special mood to, like, read 4,000 words. It's not easy. We'll do it this week sometime, for sure. Uh, no blocks. Put it over. Get my sandworm back. Oh, is this Doctor Doom? I want this. I want this Garrick avatar just because it looks like Doctor Doom. Yeah, activate your GPS mic V tracker. It's also freezing in here, like. Like, my legs are freezing, my fingers are freezing. Like, it's so cold in here, dude. Once the AC kicks on, I'm just like, dear God. <sighs> Blood Curdle's a good card. I mean, if we can, if, if we can just cast both of these, like, 5-5 five, five taste into 7-7... Seven, seven. Oh. Oh, it's got menace. I was like, why couldn't I block that? I'm like, oh, it's got menace. I got you. Buddy, I got some long sleeve pants on. I don't. I just got some shorts on. Oh, we got fully grown? Ooh. That's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four. Yikes. Oh, dang. You got a trick? Oh, you're gonna sack a dude? Okay. Okay. Still gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next time we can go crystal into Karuga, draw four. That seems good. God, companions are not cool, dude. There's a little, little one three floaty boy. Would I say something that wasn't true? I mean, I guess we could also just play Sandworm, right? Oh, we can Vulpakeet onto this guy. That's a thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's draw three. I think drawing three is fine if we let us keep up like other things. Things. Phase Dolphin seems decent. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna make this guy tap because if you want to like sack something, you're gonna have to do it before blocks. Which does not seem great. Next to blockers. All right. Yeah, and so now they can't sack this to gain life. And I think we're done. I could still cycle this guy or this. I'm probably cycling the crystal. Cycle the crystal. Cy cycle the crystal. I think we're winning this game. Are we going to 2-1 this? Weird Wooberg stipulation? That's wild. Resolve. Katie, my love, good seeing you again. <laughs> good seeing you again. What a weird thing to say to your girlfriend of almost a year. Good seeing you again. Um. Wow. That's wild. That's a, that's an amazing draw. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, it's good seeing you again. Oh boy, is she back. Guess who's back? Katie's back. Back again. Tell a friend. Unless they're going to steal this guy and then they're going to sack it to the bush meat poacher. It's going to be just a blowout and we're going to feel... Hey, good seeing you again. That's like, I can't imagine being married to someone for like eight years and being like, Hey, good seeing you again. Like she comes home from work after I'm done streaming and I'm like, Hey, good seeing you. All right, we won the game. Okay. So look, look, let's watch what happens, right? If I put this in the deck, if I put an essence scatter in... Wait, what? Did they just concede the whole thing? Did we 2-1 with the Wooberg stipulation in Ikoria? Well, it's, a good, it's always good seeing her. I'm going to claim my prize. I'm going to open these 10 packs on this stream. Taunos, you are awesome, man. I really appreciate both of your stipulations. They were actually really good times, and I don't usually have good times with stipulations in 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 regular sets. Um, this is pretty cool. We got a Brokos and a, and a Wild Card and a Luminous Broodmoth, so... Another Quartz Wood Crasher. And then another, a voracious great shark, which I love. I'm a fan. Guys, check out patreon.com slash franklaport. One or two dollars a month is a super easy way to support the channel. And it's real low. Like, right, patreon.com, one or two dollars a month, it's like nothing. You probably spend more on ketchup packets at a restaurant. Thank you guys for watching. Go to coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. Promo code FRANK5 gets you 5% off. Manatraders.com. The link and promo code are down below for 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Taunos, you're awesome, dude. Thank you so much for both stipulations. I appreciate you tremendously. And uh, also go to uh, twitch.tv slash franklapore and follow or subscribe if you want to support the channel. Those are great ways to do it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.